Okay, in this question, we're basically being given a normal distribution um, that's already set, right? So, uh, so it's a normal distribution with a mean 150 and standard deviation of 10. Remember that a normal just needs a mean and a standard deviation to be fixed, right? So, and then we want the probability that a student selected from this distribution scores 162 points. Okay, so what we first want to do is calculate the z-score. Right, so the z-score is just 162 minus 150 over 10 150 over 10 equals 1.2 and now we want the probability that z is more than or equal to 1.2, right? Because that's just equal to the probability that x is more than or equal to 162. Remember, the z-score is just the rescaled version of x. Um, <coughs> and we looked it up on our table. It's just 1 minus 0 0.88 and that equals 0 0.1151. If you're confused about how to look up on a table, here is the table, um, and we simply look for uh, the z-scores of 1.2. So let's go to 1.2, right, and here it is, 0.8849, um, and that's the value that we used, uh, right, 88.849, 8, right, because this is 1.2, okay? Um, now they ask, if you knew a particular scoring student scored above the mean of 150, what's the probably that they actually scored 162? Okay, so what we want is the probability that x is more than or equal to 162 given that x is more than or equal to 150. Now we're given that x is more than or equal to 150 so what that tells us that basically shrinks our universe from a universe where anything can happen right or you can have a test score from 120 to 180 into the universe where uh, where you can only score above 150 points, okay? So, what we want to do is we want to say what's the probability that x is more than 162, but we want to scale by the probability that we're in this x is more than or equal to 150 universe, okay? So this is the universe, the probability of the universe, right? And this is the probability of the event, okay? And if that's not uh, intuitive to you, then here is the formula for conditional probability. Right, so here's the formula for conditional probability says the probability of A and B happening over the probability of B happening. Okay? So here we have the prob where here we have that A is the event that you score above uh, 162 points. And obviously, if you score above 162, you also score above 150. So um, a, the, the event A and B um, is just the event that A happens, okay? And the B is score above 150, okay? So this is just the probability of A over the probability of B, where the probability of A is also the probability of A and B. Okay, and if you just do that calculation, um, we already have 
0.1151 from before, probably the x is more than or equal to 150, is just, we do the same z-score calculation, right? So it's going to be uh, 150 minus 150 over 10 equals 0. So a z-score of 0 means we're in the center of the normal, right? We're here in the center, so the p-value, uh, the probability that we're above is just 50%. So, we simply scale by 50%. And our final answer is 0 0.2302. Okay. Now consider the sample of 10 students applying for law school. Um, what is the probability that exactly two of them uh, scored at least 162 points? So this is, uh, this is going to be a binomial distribution. Right, so remember the binomial is just the sum of all the ones. You have you have n slots, and they can all be zero or one. And the sum of the ones is what the binomial is telling you, right? So one can be the event that they scored at least 160 po points, zero otherwise, right? So here n equals 10, and p equals where p is just the probability of getting a 1, right, in any one slot, is, is uh, 0 0.1151 that we got from part A. <coughs> so, When we go to our binomial formula, uh, right? right? So this is our binomial formula, and we want the probability that k x equals k, where k equals two. Okay. So x is this, probability that x equals 2 is just n choose k times p squared times 1 minus p to the eighth, where k equals 2, okay, and p is, as specified, gives 10 choose 2, 0 0.1151 squared times 1 minus 0 0.1151 to the eighth to give a final answer of 0 0.2241.